again, good evening, everyone. This is Ron. Uh, on yesterday, we looked at Luke uh, chapter 17, and we were looking at uh, looking at it, starting with verse 11 through 19. Jesus, Luke chapter 17, Mm -hmm. uh, starting at verse 11, and we went through verse 19. Okay. Ron, I got a question before we get started with that. Okay. Um, with the, with the white supremacists, um, it's like everything is being magnified with them, with the Europeans, with some of them. I'm not going to say all because we can't paint them all with their same brush. But with what's mm-hmm. happening in the world, um, with uh, they think that, you know, they have the right to do whatever they want to. They can shoot and kill anybody they want to and get away with it. How are we to deal with that, and are we dealing with that? That's a twofold question. Okay, and, and that's why I asked at the beginning was Pastor on because I had a feeling we'd uh, talk about some of this. I, I want to talk about it from from how I see it, uh, and, and it's a very good point, uh, Evelyn. On on uh, I, I thought this lesson, and that's what I'm going to go back to, is what this lesson represents, but. Uh, I felt good about what we talked about yesterday and uh, mulling it over in my head. And then probably about 7, 30, 8 o'clock, I got a uh, app on my phone that shoots me in the news. And, and it talked about, uh, I saw this article, which I did not read, but talked about uh, a student, a white student that hit a black teacher. And uh, that wasn't very good to go to bed on. So I, I did not have a, a, a good night. I, I kind of tossed and turned with that one, and, and you know, and, and uh, it, you know, I, I, I'm thinking, and I look back, at, and and as I said on, to you yesterday, talking about a similar uh, topic, the, the first thing that comes to me is I think about our lessons and where we are and what we talk about, and and, and what helped me late in the night and, and 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 even in the past is to concentrate on that and not see individuals but to concentrate on where we are spiritually and 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 uh what what our goals are and and, and my god i know that's easier said than done but the the example is you know, looking at this lesson that we're we're talking about right now and I think Pastor laid it out yesterday. It's no coincidence in that 11th verse where it talks about Jesus being between Galilee and Samaria. And it's talking about the African contemplating who he is and where he is. And and, and as Pastor said, we are a people without a country. We are a people that nobody wants. Africa doesn't want us back. America doesn't want us. So who are we? We are the people in the scriptures. So that's where I draw my power from. That's where I draw my strength from. And and I, I look at that and, and think, okay, being the tenth, being the tenth that turned back, the only group that represents or, or, or uh, not represents, but took notice of what has happened in our lives and who we are. And as we said on yesterday, Evelyn, that's what got us all on this phone together we all turned. We all saw something bigger and turned. So with that said, what if, and this, this, is, this is a supposition for me that helps me. What if Jesus keeps going back to the cross? What if he keeps being beaten till he's unrecognizable? What if we are the same people that have been mourning for centuries? And, and and God is just taking us back to the beginning, back to the beginning, back to the beginning until we see who we are and recognize it and, and move in that direction. So I, I try not to look at it as an individual thing because it wears you down. It takes your energy. And uh, I think what we're supposed to be doing is what we're doing now. 
is and 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 I, I brought that up about Jesus and, and the beatings and the deaths and the shootings uh, because the police are no different than the Romans. The people are no different. If if you if you you know stop and look at it, I mean the, the, it's 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 all the one all the same thing. Nothing has happened. We have technology now. We have more money. We have jobs. We're, we're not in chains anymore. But we're still not where we should be. And I mean that spiritually. I'm not talking economically. So when when I look at it from uh, from that perspective, I try to see us in these lessons and 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 see okay, this is another layer that's being peeled away, and so we can recognize that we're human. Because I'm gonna tell you something. Every time we react, I mean, you you're going to you have your feelings and emotions, but every time we react off the handle. And 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 kind of explode internally, we miss an opportunity, and nothing has changed. Another decade goes by, another century goes by, and, and you know this thing continues. So somebody has to be able to see this and take a deep breath and say, "Yes, this hurts. Yes, I'm tired of it." But take a deep breath and say, but I got to recognize, I see that I am Elohim and I'm opening myself up to receive wisdom as to what direction to take this in. I am one with the universe and that is the strength. I I, I hear you and I agree with everything you're saying. It just seems as if, um, again, I, I realize that every one of us are concepts. Um, but I do feel it's a backlash to their behavior and where they act and the way that they're acting because and the laws that have been passed, it's got to be a backlash on uh, mankind. Am I not right about that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, the, the other thing is, if, if we can see this spiritually, what if we are part of the this whole thing? Uh, meaning it happens so that we can react in the manner that we're supposed to. What if we're part of being the catalyst for all of this? So are we to transform the energy, the the negative energy, I'll just say. Um, We're to transform the energy that's in the universe now, or is that what we're doing now? That's what we are doing now. We're 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 changing darkness into light. We 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 are we're we're going the 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 the, the spirits of, of of God are, are hovering over the the darkness, and we are going in deeper. We're going in deeper, seeking wisdom. We're giving up who we are to be the humans to and and the 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 anger and the and the wanting to retaliate and the unwillingness to forgive uh, is still showing us our animalistic instinct. And Evelyn, I'm talking to me too. Just like I said to you last night, I wrestled with that thing when I saw it. That that whipped me for a while. And and uh, I, I just, cause I, my alarm clock goes off at 4 a.m. anyway. I think I got up about 3.25. I just got up. But and, and 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 you know I have good days and I have bad days, but I'm determined because I see the end. We know the end. That should be some consolation. We know the end. Ron, let me ask you yes. if I can get it. If I can get it out right, do you 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 think that the reason sometimes it seems like I won't say stagnated, but it's like the more the more we come to the knowledge, the wisdom that we get, that it's like things sort of like level out, but then it's like more things come up, and we're trying to figure out how to get to that place. But, you know, we can't stay in one place all the time. It's like you're going from level to level. And it's like the creator allows us to see where we're at and 
I won't say we're complacent with where we're at, but we, we've we come to a point to where other things come up for us to gain more knowledge that we can tell, you know, others the, in the universe. Uh, am I making any sense with what I'm trying to say? Miss Kathy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kathy. It, uh, Kathy, I, I agree with everything you said, but one thing, not just gain knowledge, I think things, it, 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 it levels, it stops, it allows us to catch our breath, and then something else happens so that we can go further. Yeah. That's so, that we, so, so that we can go further and take another layer off and, and, and to see truth. Yeah. Because if, if things didn't keep going, would we stop? Would we become complacent? Right. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Thanks. I, I saw something this morning. I got up this morning, and uh, I cut the cut the television on after a while because I sat there for a minute and just kind of just breathe. I tried to, to pray and just meditate and breathe, and uh, I cut the TV on. And I don't know if on the on the uh, SEC network, the, the it, it's a sports network, but they have a, a series of stuff come on. Little, little show called True South. Has anybody ever seen it? It's called True South, and and what it is, it's different stories about stuff in the house in the, in the South, and they start talking about racism and, and the integration of college football, and 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 you know just little stories like that from one school to the next. But they did a story this morning, and I caught it in the middle, but it was this black guy who owned a restaurant, and uh. He he was he was I think it was in Birmingham, but he was so well liked and known. And he, he used his restaurant. He gave people money. He fed people. He took care of the community, and that's what he was known for. Uh, and 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 as he said, I'm not getting rich. I just love what I'm doing, so I share it. I'm like, wow, how awesome is that? But one night. He gets ready to leave his restaurant, and this kid comes up and shoves a gun in his face. And they show a picture of the boy, a little 20-year-old kid. Uh, and, and both of them are black, by the way. But he didn't have any money. He didn't have any money to, to give the kid, he told him that. But they started rapping. He, he saw a chance, and he jumped at the gun, and he started rapping in front of him. He ended up taking the gun from the kid. But he took the gun after he got shot. He got shot in the chest. And he still managed to take this gun from this boy. Now, the funny thing about that is he was 75 years old when that happened. But he goes to court. He gets out of the hospital. He goes to court. And they have the kid there. And they get ready to, to, to sentence him. And the judge asked him, said, Mr. Sons, I can't remember saying, what do you want to see happen here? And he says, what I want you to do is put this kid on probation and give him to me. He said he has not seen forgiveness, loving kindness, or compassion, and I'm going to show him to him. Let me have him. And I thought, wow, wow, is that not everything we've talked about? And, and I thought about it because with me wrestling throughout the night, that was exactly what I needed to hear. There are things that, that happen to us that we see, guys, that, that, that put us on the right, show us that we're on the right trail. And the other thing that, that I tried to remember, and this one is very hard. There is a scripture that that uh, I can't remember where it is, but you guys know. Do you remember the scripture that, that where God says to the Israelites, the battle is not yours, it's mine? Remember that? Well, in that scripture, in that scripture, they asked God, said, when we had opportunity, 
Why did you allow us to throw? Why, why didn't you allow us to destroy them? We could have destroyed them. They're all our enemies. You know what the answer is? Because they were Moabites. Moabites was a tribe that uh, uh, came from an ancestral relationship with Lot and his daughter. So they were related to Abraham. The, in other words, you can't kill or destroy this nation or you destroy yourself. We look at them and we look at the stuff that they do and they don't know what they're doing, y'all, but we do. And as much as we try, as much as we would like to, we cannot separate from them. We can't. And and that, that as hard as it is sometimes, is what helps me refocus and try to look for solutions. The problem is I want to see something change before I die. I want to see it happen right now. And that's part of my frustration. And when I acknowledge that, uh, we're so used to reading the scriptures and seeing something uh, being prayed or asked for, and in the next verse you see the answer when that's not realistic because it doesn't show you in the scriptures the amount of time that that may have taken. And just like when, when you read about Sarah and Abraham, it'll tell you, and, and you, you gloss over it when you see it. It says, and Sarah was 90 years old when she was praying. Well, go back and look at the time when God first told them she was going to have a baby. Look at the time that has passed. So it's it, 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 it's 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 hard, and I, I I wish somebody else would help me with this because I don't have the answers. I don't. I can just tell you the struggles that I have and what helps me. And I am, as I know you are too, but I I truly believe I am so into what we do. I, I'm I'm all in, and, and I believe. Uh, we are one with the universe and all that is happening uh, uh, it is not happening in vain it, it looks like it is but it's not it looks like you know and, and, and something else too that that that, that you think about and and, and and you know I love examples I got another example for you then I'm gonna hush and let y'all talk for a minute when I was a kid my mom was a, was an RM my mom was a registered nurse and I remember one day, and this is the last time I ever snuck in the hospital. She was an RN in, in, the, in the emergency room. And I snuck in the hospital that day, and I hid under a gurney. And back then, uh, in my childhood, there was a black hospital and a white hospital right beside each other. But I'm in the hospital, and uh, this man starts yelling and screaming. And it was so bad till I started crying. And I had no idea how old I was. And that's how they found me, because I was crying. But what happened was he had been in a car wreck and got burned up. And they were scraping that dead skin off. And I can only imagine how painful that could be. And I could feel the pain in his voice, and it made me start crying. What am I saying to you? The skin is being scraped off right now. The things that we see, all of this has to be uncovered. Before healing can take place, every bit of the skin has to be scraped off. It's unpleasant. And th that is part of why uh, the, 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 the lessons that Kathy went through when she talked about the leadership and the presidency, when she was looking at uh, revelations, uh, that's how that ties into this. All of that had to take place so that all the skin could be, be scraped away. So things have gotten tight. They've been getting tight and they're getting tighter for us. But remember who you are. 
we are difference makers. And, and that difference may not come how we think it should come. But just let us stay on focus. And, I, and I, I'm, I'm, if anybody else wants to address this, please do. And uh, the floor is open. Anybody wants to talk. Hey, Ron, this is Charles. I'm seeing, yes. you know, as you were talking, I'm seeing and I'm hearing that um, as what Kathy had said, too, the deeper that we go in, the more, I just said straight out, the more terror, the more dislike you see and, and everything start weighing heavy on you. But we was always taught when it gets like that, you start seeing the end more. You you you'll start seeing the end more Very as close as you 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 go through this. You will start seeing the end, and what it's trying to do is break you down so you can stop performing. I say it's it trying to stop you to keep you bound to where. You don't want to progress anymore. It, it tears your heart up from seeing all this stuff, and you don't want to. You, you just want to close up and say, "Lord, I, I don't want to do this anymore." But it's just like I don't know this man. I I, I, I read the Bible of the guy. I think it's Gideon. God had told told him to go speak to these people, and he wouldn't do it. And the big fish, Jonah. Jonah, and the big fish, big fish swallowed him and took him out. And when he did go and tell them what God had told them, he still was upset. He came back and got up on a what a Jennifer tree, yeah. and then and God talked talk to him and told him, "Where were you when I did all this fantastic?" when I did all the stuff in this world, in this earth, in this universe. So to get into what I'm trying to say, all this stuff going to keep happening until we keep putting this out. Because the closer, closer you get to what God have you to get to, it's going to be a whole lot ain't been easier, but your heart won't get pricked as bad because you know who holds your heart in your in the hand. You you know who holds you in your hand in, in, in his hand. And it won't be it, it, everything won't be simple, but you'll have a, a, a big relief. Why are you going through this? Why are you taking this journey? Why are you going through these, this hole? And why are you having these ups and downs? Because all this, is, like to say, is a journey. Is your man and a woman enough or God enough to go through the journey and handle it? Because God knows that. He knows that we, we, we can handle it. And like you said, the battle, the battle is not ours. It's the Lord. The Lord just wants you to go through it. So you can see that you are God too. Thank you, Charles. I, I, I agree with you. Uh, you. You made me think about something when, when you were talking. And, and, and this, this is me talking to myself. I'm, I'm talking to y'all like I talk to myself. I, I remind myself to keep looking through my eye and close my eyes. My eyes will fool me. My eyes will make me weak. My eyes will make me angry. I close my eyes and open my eye. And 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 again, we are in a a, a tough place. We're in this together. And we're in this with the universe. 
and as the as the dead burned skin is being uh, scraped away. And another way of saying that is things are being exposed like never before. And 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 all the things that we see, nothing is new. These things have been happening. Just now they're magnified. We have all this electronics. Nothing is here. Everybody's walking around with a computer in their pocket with a camera attached. Nothing is here anymore. Everything is in the open. And you're right, Ron. And that's why this naked eye, it can't see beyond. It can't see the spirits. It cannot see beyond what your senses can see. Yeah. When that the third eye open up, you, you'll be able to see everything, what God's doing, how he's moving. And that's when your heart will get touched more than anything. That God is in is, is in the midst of this, and 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 if you're like at the place where I was this morning, where you 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 do feel angry and don't need to be trying to hide or lie about it, uh, you, you you feel in some kind of way. All I could do is sit there and breathe. Sit there and breathe. And 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 just just let let it my breath calm me down so that I can also oh I'm sorry also Ron I was thinking too that a lot of times mm-hmm. when we start feeling I'm sorry this Mary a lot of times we start feeling this way and for me mm-hmm. my relief is crying and um, I think about the the song that says we'll understand it all by and by also knowing that oh. God is the creator is in control and he has a plan and everything has to line up right in order for it to happen. For example, when there's a car accident, all these people, all these things have to come in place in order for the accident to take kick to happen with certain, for me, when I was in my accident. So things have to line up. Yeah. I would love to see peace and harmony in my lifetime, but it, it's, it may not happen, but it might, just like we never thought we'd see a black, black president in our lifetime, but it was preordained to happen, and it happened. We have to wait we, uh, and trust the creator, trust that we are on the right path, and when things start getting us down, just remember who's in charge and just trust the creator because he, the, sorry, the creator has a plan. And it's working out in the way we want it to happen. Snap the finger and it's all right. Like you said, Sarah mm-hmm. had to wait a while. Everybody had to wait. Those things that are happening in our lives right now, when we were younger, we may have asked for it, but we had to wait until we were in a position to understand what we were getting and to take care of it. So we have to trust that the creator is in charge. And again, I think about, because I was thinking the scripture about uh, not by power, or by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And the spirit yeah. is moving. That positive energy is on the move. It's just it's taking its time, slowly but surely, putting everything in place. And sometimes we can feel it. Sometimes we can't. But we got to know it's there, just like we know the sun always shines, even though it's cloudy. That's all I want to say. I'm, I'm thinking, I, I think I make sense. It does to me. I hope it made sense to you. Thanks. Oh, it does make sense. It does, does make sense. Thank you, Mayor. It, it makes perfectly good sense. I, 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 I you know, if, if, if you guys ever, uh, have you ever had a situation to come up that you can see something before it happens? and you know what the answer is, or you know what direction to go in, and you see it with with a certainty, maybe it's some advice you have to give somebody. Maybe it's you with your child, and the you have no, no logic behind your answer and what you see, but you see it and you trust it. You ever yeah. had that experience? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So what what I'm saying is that experience is awaiting all of us. Do not forget that when we talk about the creator, you're talking about you. You're one in the same. And the more of these lessons we learn, the deeper we get, the more we learn to look through our eye and not our eyes and let our focus, excuse me, be on spiritual things and not take it personal, but know that who we are is going to be the catalyst and, and maybe even uh, what determines the speed of how this happens, how we react to it, how we react to it. So let's not, as, as Mary said, let, let's not sell ourselves short. She, she, when she said, by my spirit, not by power or might, but by my spirit, well, that's us. We, as we recognize we are human, and there's not many of those in the earth, guys. There's not many of those in the earth. You are the torch. You are the torch for the spirit of Elohim. You are the torch for, for all those who, all those ancestors and everybody who's gone before you. You are the torch that, that, that brings everything to the present time, and there is no, no future or past. You bring it into the now. Because you are the human and you are what attracts everything. And that's why you feel the way you feel, because you attract everything. But do not feel helpless. Do not feel helpless. And and and, and I love this because it is times like this where we do need to recharge each other. We do. There are a lot happening. There is a lot happening. Excuse me. And, I, and I'm going to be honest with y'all. As I told you, I did not read that article. I can't watch the news like that. I, I see stuff like that. I can't look at it anymore. I want to stay focused on where I am. Yes, I need to be caught up on, on, head, on, on current events, but I don't need to see every detail of what happens every day. I, I don't. I, 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 maybe I'm not strong enough, but I can't do that. I'm not at that place. Hey, Ron. You 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 just tired of seeing hurt in your you know when you see this, and it hurts your heart. But you still have to. Uh, like I, I don't think I can say, keep the pace. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I, yeah, I agree with you, Charles. I and I, I try to do just that, and, and, and even uh, when I do sometimes feel angry or, or feel like I'm out of energy, I bounce back. It may take a while sometimes, but I bounce back. And, and and one of my my prayers or one of the things I continue to ask is, okay, Lord, what do you want us to do now? What do you want us to see? Teach us how to meditate. Teach us what to pray on. Teach us what actions to take. Where are we? We're not backing away. Just show us what to do. But sometimes I don't know. But I do know this, that verse 11 is real. It shows us where we are. We've tried marching. We tried legislation. We tried violence. We tried everything, trying to assimilate. We tried putting people in the office. We tried electing presidents and congressmen and senators. But nobody, nobody, until now, as far as I know, 
is try to walk away from religion and go to the God of the scriptures. And go there with the intent of selling out self. I will give as far as we, the God has brought me, there is no turning back. There is no turning back. I want to know who we are. I want to see what we're capable of. I want to know what love and kindness looks like in the earth. I want to be the the the, the epitome of, of 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 forgiveness. I still believe. I still believe that we get there by changing ourselves. Because if you are the human and everybody else is seeking to be human, not knowing that they're not human, there has to be that little spark that's still in them. And when they see you, just like right now, I bet on on, on, on not maybe, you know, or on your jobs or in your schools or wherever you may be. You ever had that person to come up to you and start telling you their life story and you wonder where this come from? Or ask your opinion or something? And you're thinking, half the time you don't even speak to me. Why are you here now? Because they need you. They've seen what they've seen in you all along. They can't explain it. There's something in you that's different. That's who you are. And just hold on, y'all. And 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 uh, I think the first question that came up was Evelyn, and I, and I apologize if I if I don't have answers for you. I don't. But I hope uh, we we can learn to rely on each other and be strength for each other and uh, keep moving forward. Ron, what everybody has said tonight is resonating with me. Um, I was just, you know, everything is, been, everything is resonating. So I, I think everybody has done a good job tonight. You know, that's what I wanted to talk about tonight. What takes place when that happens? You just said it's resonating with me. What takes place when that happens? Is that rhetorical or are you just asking? <laughs> yeah, it's rhetorical. <laughs> but oh, okay. I am just asking. I'm thinking too, but oh. do you have an answer? It's just, to me, it's just that it just, I can just feel it. I can just feel that it's 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 the truth, you know, and I'm comfortable with it. If that makes sense, and then I can't describe it. Okay. Just pick it up, Ron. This is what I think. What you were asking about when um, it resonates, what what that means for us. Uh huh. Well, for me, it means that. Although I may not be able to regurgitate it back, put it right back the same way, it means that I've it it it's absorbed in my spirit. My spirit agrees with it, and when it's needed, it'll come out the way the person needs to understand whomever I'm speaking to. I don't have to like run back and say, "Ooh, let me go listen to the message again." Um, I used to think, "Wow, I can't even remember what I said yesterday." But I trust that when it resonates, when it's needed, it will reappear in word yeah. form. That's what it means for me. I, I, I'll tell you what, what you both said. For one, uh, it means that you're one with the universe. It means to that it speaks to your holiness. Your, and we talked yesterday about being whole. It, 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 it speaks to that part of you. 
it, it, when we get on this phone, what we're doing is we're creating space to receive. And when you see the, the brutality and the thing that you see, you, you breathe, you, 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 you praise, and, and you create space to receive. But what it also does in, in the process of that, uh, um, um, listen to what Vermeil said, or oh, she know it's going to be there later. You are turning feminine. And I know all women speak, but I'm talking uh, uh, metaphorically here and I'm talking spiritually too. You turn feminine. What do I mean? You have an expectancy to receive something and you move self out of the way. You move your ego, you move your arrogance, you move your anger, you move everything out of the way because you know that there's something being said for you. And that's what you get. So when, when we say something resonates, that is being holy. That is, that is, that is being uh, uh, opening yourself up and, and being prepared that that uh, that that you can uh, become light, be enlightened, become light. And, and the reason why I brought that up, I was, I was glad uh, th that you guys said. I think Evelyn's first one to say it. The, the thing that I'm wondering is that the opposite of leprosy. Leprosy attacks the nervous system, and I wonder, in a spiritual sense. Does that mean you cannot feel the vibrations of the universe? Just something to think about. That was uh, something I was hoping to get into and have a little discussion today, tonight on. Well, Ron, I... So, that really resonates with me when you say um, that, like leprosy, leprosy affects the nerves so that you go numb. You can't really feel or experience something. Um, so, yeah, I think you're right. Um, when something does resonate with you, it's it's that you're your nervous system is picking up what it needs to pick up to connect yeah, with yeah. the universe. You know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see exactly what you're saying, and I agree. And, and I'm help. I'm glad you helped me because I didn't know how to put it into words. But yeah, I, I agree with you. And I just can I want to add? It's Mary again that you connect with the universe, and when Jesus spoke to the 10 lepers and said, go and show yourself to the priest. These people were healed physically, but that one leper became whole. He heard, he, he got in touch with, he went back to the beginning. And that's why he was able to come back to Jesus and worship him because when Jesus spoke, it resonated and he went back to the beginning of who he was. And that's how I see it. So, let me think. And, no, and, I'm thinking. and Mary, he didn't he didn't even care about the priest or religion. He just knew what he knew. Yeah. Yeah. The reason he could do that, he was back in balance again with the creator. That's right. And and to add that to what we've already said tonight. That's what I want us to see, guys. You are the tenth. You are the one that has returned. You are the one that has returned. You are the one who 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 now feels the vibration. R remember, uh, the 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 tenth represents the whole. The tithe means to represent the whole one tenth. So the, the the wholeness of it is you are the only one, or all that it takes to feel holiness. You are the only one that, that it, it takes to be complete, be, become one with the universe. And it's through you. Listen to this. It is through you 
that all these problems that we talked about this evening are going to be solved through the love and compassion that vibrates through, through the rhythm of the universe that comes through you. That's why we got to hold on. Now, what that looks like, God knows I don't know, but I trust it. Hey, Ron, yes, this ma'am. is uh, Angela. I just wanted to say when you was talking about um, what today I was at work and um, I was asked to go to another machine. So I went over there to the machine and it was this lady, she was over there working. And I just went up to her and I was asking her because they told me to go over there and help her. So when, me going over there and helping her, she she was talking and all of a sudden she just started crying. And she was crying, and and she said, I might be crying. I said, that's all right. And she was like, I'm sorry. I said, you have nothing to apologize. I said, you might see me crying. I said, crying doesn't mean that you, you're weak. I said, that's your way. Well, God hears us anyway, but I think I told her, I feel like he hears us more, you know, when, we, when we're crying. So she was uh. Well, she was explaining to me whatever she was going through, but I told her, and she was just saying that she – she feel she feel weak, and I said that's why I was telling her crying does not stimulate that we are weak. It just letting it out how we feel. And some people where their uh, sensitivity on they on the outside, it's hard for them not to show that they're going through something. You know, when some people can just you know cover it up, you know, and fix it. And she said she's not that one. And I told her as well. I wear mine. If something wrong with me, you're gonna know something wrong with me because that's just that's how I am. And, you yeah. know, so I did my best to try to, and you know, encourage her and let her know that, you know, just keep believing, you know, and, and I would be praying for her that, you know, a situation you know, will work out, but never uh, feel weak. But, uh, and if someone, she said that people would come up to her saying, well, you ain't got over this yet. I said, no one can tell you how long it takes for you to grieve. I said, if you feel you need to cry, cry. I'm not going to look at you in any kind of way. I'm, if you need to cry, just cry. But that's what I wanted to share. Well, I heard several things there. One of the things I heard that you said is uh, you you were the uh, peace that she needed. And, and, and I mean that in, in peace is in P-E-A-C-E and P P E I C E. I may have spelled that it, it spelled out wrong, but you 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 are what she needed, and you're going over there. You you know it may have looked bad. Hey, you need to go over here to this machine to do that. But do, do do if we look hard, y'all, we can see spirituality in everything we do. Everything we do, and I'm not saying it's easy, but this journey that we're on. Uh, I, I and, and I'm reminded, and I always get this quote wrong, but I, it, it was Nick years ago that, that said, what, what set, your, set your path and set your intent and just, just let it be. And, and, and so it, it, our intent is to be righteous. Our intent is to be love and kindness. So what, what happens with that? What happens in our worlds that we've created? Then that's what it's supposed to be. And it does overwhelm us sometimes. So listen to what you say. Listen, listen to what. Uh, and, and, and I, you know, I, I've had some 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 grieving days too. And you're absolutely right. Nobody can tell you how to grieve or how long to grieve. But you were there for her today, and you helped her. And it may have been all she needed. Little things like that seem insignificant make all the difference in the world to somebody. So I say that to say, it, 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 looking at this, this lesson, if we are the tithe, if we are the tenth, then we are uh, uh, what opens the world up to receive enlightenment. Keep that in mind. You are what opens up the world to receive enlightenment. And let that be our... our, our uh, 
you know, our, our, our strength, that thing that helps us to, to, to uh, not be discouraged. We're headed the right way, y'all. We're headed and we're on the right path. I don't know what else to say. I don't. But uh, I had one other point that I was going to bring in, and I can't remember. We talked about leprosy. Josh, you have something? I'm just looking at my notes. Yeah. Go ahead. It was it's what um, Angela had said. That man told her to go over there and help that lady. See, God used people to move, to move you to give her that peace that she needs. And that's what happened to Angela. You might not recognize that with God because you remember God, this, this man was telling, uh, it, it was a story about, uh, I came to you but you fed me not. And Jesus said, I came to you, you fed me not. Oh, why didn't he you come to me? To it was the old man was hungry. It's just like that man told her to go to that woman and help her because she probably was crying. And God was hearing her crying and used that man to get Angel to go to him, to her. So Angel was that, that peace that she needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And and if Angela had been hard hearted or over there in anger, the woman would have felt that as well. You know? You're right. We because are, we are. We we all if we all in God's hand, we all is seeking the same thing for this the the people and we are the light. And we supposed to be our brother's keeper. God's going to use someone to get your attention to help those. If not, God can pop you in your sleep and get you to do what's right. Or you can see something in the mix of this life and it's not right. And, and, and God will show you the right thing to say or do in the midst. It's all, a, it's all a part of your heart being open and your eyes, your eye being open. You're right, Charles. You are the measurement for the universe. You are the one that, that hears and sees the light. It is us. Let's not make that a small thing. Because the thing the thing about it, we looking for this big thing to come up in us to make us do this and that for people. It could be like you used to talk about running the little thing. It could be a little child sitting there crying and some his parents probably did, and he probably needed an understanding of, you know, what happened. And when the parents are mad, they fuss with that kid, they break that kid down, he go to crying because he don't know which way to go. But if you sit there and talk to the kid, the reason why the parents did it that way, but I know they did it harshly, but look at it. And then that kid starts seeing it, and then his crying stopped. Yeah. And... We as God and God, but but we are the father children. So we act like children with him. So you got to understand things going to happen. You're going to have casualties. But keep up what we're doing. Thank you, Charles. I agree. Um, there was one more thing I saw that I want to talk about. Uh, the, the number one, 
only one guy went back or one person went back. And we talked about them being males and the significance of that. Uh, uh, one, and, and Pastor talked about this too, but one talks about it's, uh, something that cannot be divided. And it talks about being first. And the one the part of one that, that really struck me is one, always starts at the beginning at the beginning so we 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 learned about beginning and and the thing that uh i remember saying to pastor this still feels a little evasive to me i see it but i don't see it i can't quite grasp it and 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 what i see now is I'm not supposed to grasp it because it doesn't always look the same. Beginning can be whatever it needs to be in that circumstance. So it, it is not a place that's totally familiar to you. It is, it is you're trusting that those vibrations you're trusting those experiences that you're feeling and you trust where that takes you. Because remember, when you have set your intent on being righteous and holy, so you allow it to go there. And just like now, when, when I try anyway to look at a lesson, I, I try to feel it. I don't do the, the well, I still look, at, look up words, but I think that's important. But I try to, See and feel where we are and what we need. We have moved to a place that we're experiencing things. And I think that's why we're so sensitive to all the, the hurt and the pain that we see around us. Because we're not the same we were five years ago. Or even three years ago, last year. As we move to uh, uh, more seeing our humanity and, and our, our spiritualness, and and being one with Elohim as we embrace, embrace that, and that means buying into it because we're not totally there yet. We're not. But it, it, it is a transformation. But as we get there, we trust beginning and what beginning is supposed to be for us. That's who we are. There's strength in that. And, and and the other thing that this one struck me as well is I'm moving further and further away from myself, meaning the things that I see or the things that I desire are not just for me. My prayers are not selfish anymore. And I can't expect the changes I want to see. I, I can't look at them through my selfish eyes. So I, that is, is become very plain to me as well. Things are happening the way they are happening. You got to trust it. And that's how I keep me going, y'all. Anyone else questions or comments? I have one, Ren. When you were talking about that, the part about, about the beginning, I see that what what what's happened to to us. We're, we're learning how to get back to the beginning through all the trials that we're going through, through all the things that we're seeing. Once you get back to the beginning, everything's going to balance you then. And then you'll be able to be all the God that God created you to be. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, Charles. The only thing that I, I see differently, 
and and you guys can speak to this if, if you see it in a different way. I I originally saw going back to the beginning as something that you uh, turn to do. I, I think what we've walked into, we've learned to experience the scriptures and 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 uh, as as uh, uh, for Mill and Mary and, and some of you others may have said, we 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 experiencing the vibrations and and the rhythms now, and that's what takes us there. And and your desires when you see the hurt and and the pain, that's what takes us to the beginning. Those I, I don't think is something that we have to be necessarily cognizant of because if you are turning spiritual and you see your connectedness not only to Elohim but to all of mankind that keeps you there that keeps you there because what you recognize is that is your purpose that is who you are so I I don't you know I I think I, I think we're at a place that we don't know where we are. We, we, we don't recognize that what we have been seeking, we're there, is what I'm saying. And I hope that makes sense. It makes sense. Anybody else, questions or comments? Well, this this has been a, a I, I think a interesting night. I hope we all got got a thought from it, at least feel better. Uh, if not, we'll we'll do it again uh, next time we get on the on the line because I have no idea what we'll talk about Saturday, and and that's that's a good thing. That's that's where we are now, uh, and we'll go for that. You know what the funny thing is? I talked to Pastor last night. And I said to him, I appreciate when you're on the phone and you feel the questions because I don't feel comfortable with questions. I don't. And he said, (laughs) until you have a time where you be there to answer questions, you won't feel comfortable. You need to do it. And lo and behold, he did not show up tonight. We all had questions. Got a trust. But, well, I, I, I hope everybody feels better. If not, uh, we, we'll go over them again. And we'll go over them again after that if necessary. Ron, I have to say, uh, I always enjoy your teaching. And I'm, I'm glad you're not confident in being able to answer questions because then it'll be about Ron and not about allowing the creator to do what he needs, what it needs to do in you. So uh, keep doing what you're doing because I enjoy your teaching, brother. God bless. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, and and, and I, I do uh, em, 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 embrace the questions. It leads us somewhere. I just don't always feel comfortable trying to answer them, but Oh, uh, that's okay. That's that's who and what where we are, and I appreciate everything tonight because, as we said before, it takes every comment, every question to to move us forward, to move us forward. But uh, if you still feel uncomfortable, if you still have questions, uh, let's let's prepare them for Saturday. And uh, we look forward to Saturday with an expectancy. I know it's still early, y'all, but that's all I have if we don't have any more comments or questions. I just had a couple of things that I uh, thought was important that that we uh, looked at yesterday that we, we need to look at, and that was uh, looking at wholeness and completeness again and looking at uh, we looked at tithing or tenth, and we looked at leprosy. And uh, so if that's if that's all your questions you have, I, I'm, I think I'm done anyway. Anybody comments or questions? Well, I no, I just want to say a great job. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, thank you. Well, thank you. And I hope you guys have an awesome week. Uh, be careful this weekend if you're traveling. And uh, I look forward to Saturday because I know I don't have to work Saturday. I'm going to be on, on, the, on the air. <laughs> but y'all have a great and uh again let's let's if we have to we stay in touch okay let's 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 right. keep the faith in the in, in each other okay love y'all all, all right thank you Ron. bye bye happy thanksgiving everybody happy thanksgiving thanksgiving, thanksgiving. bye